NFT really a big thing this year at Art Basel. In fact, if you step in some of these galleries, you're likely to see a wall with NFT art. NFTs are changing the entire art world and the entire experience for artists to survive this this system. Non-fungible tokens are the latest cryptocurrency phenomenon. So what is it? In simple terms, NFTs transform digital works of art and other items into digital assets. Yes, NFTs are totally like investing. They're a way for people to engage and collect and sell. Ed Zipko runs Super Chief Gallery NFT inside the Scope Art Show on Miami Beach. So this is a photograph by Devin Yalkin, who takes photographs of the New York Times. And this one was purchased by <laughs> Max Power. It's currently worth an estimated $1,200. Like other cryptocurrency, ownership is verified using blockchain technology. So you'll need a digital wallet. This is the first time that our Basel has taken on this digital footprint. And I've been saying that I think this is going to be the largest sale of NFTs in the history of humanity. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez sees this year's Art Basel as a vehicle to build a stronghold on the crypto network and recruit tech companies to the area. I'm meeting with tech companies nonstop. I mean, every minute of this week is programmed uh, to try to get the maximum amount out of this week. We have basically the attention of the entire world. Alongside some of the biggest Art Basel events are conferences bringing tech leaders to Miami, such as NFT Basel and La Casa. NFTs are allowing there to be royalties for the first time. And I think that's the big story. NFTs allow for artist royalties. So when an artwork sells and continues to sell, and artist gets a little piece of that. And this year's excitement for NFT art may only be a sign of things to come at Art Basel in the future. In Miami, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS4 News.